Well, a Vermont girls basketball team was told they are now ineligible to participate in any future tournaments. Now, this after choosing to forfeit one game because they didn't want their girls, high school girls, playing against a team with a biological boy on it, a uh, trans female, based on safety and fairness concerns. Joining us now to discuss for The Other View, Washington editor at The Spectator, Amber Athey, reporter from The Daily Caller, Brianna Lyman, and Project 21 member, Donna Jackson. Um, Brianna, I'm going to start with you on this one. Uh, this wasn't anything against trans people. This was not transphobic. This was simply because these are high school girls and for safety and fairness reasons, the school chose, chose to opt out, but now they're being punished. You know what's the sad part right now is that you and I obviously see this as not being transphobic, but there are people on the left who would say that this is transphobic transphobic. But what people tend to forget is that female and male, aside from, you know, genitalia being different, I mean, bone structure is different between male and female, right? Women are more likely to have more bone mass below their torso, whereas men are more likely to have it above their torso, right? It's very disproportionate. And so when you see a school that wants to follow the science and you have people pushing back against the science because they want to coddle people who have essentially hijacked femininity and have erased women in the name of you know, progress, mm -hmm. this is what the result is. Innocent women like myself could possibly be the victims of, you know, sport inequality. Yeah, and, and Donna, your thoughts, of course, I immediately thought of, well, how does the locker room situation work out there? Um, you know, it is a dangerous situation. And this is setting women's sports back decades. Women fought so hard to be able to have a sport that they can compete in. And essentially what we're doing is making one sport all males. If these transgenders really were trying to uh, actually uh, increase the equality of women. Why aren't they competing with men? But no, they're not doing that. They're taking away the rights of women who fought so hard to be able to have a sport of their own. And now we essentially have none. And Amber, I want to get your thoughts on this. Uh, this topic, I think I definitely want to get to. A social media trend called pantry porn, um, hadn't heard of it until today, where users post photos of clean and organized pantries has come under fire from a Loyola University professor. She says if you ditched cereal boxes for uniform glass containers and opted for plexiglass storage bins in your fridge, you may be engaging in classist racist and sexist behaviors. Um, I'm going to come clean. I have done all of those things, but in no way do I believe, would or I ever let anyone tell me uh, I've engaged in those types of behaviors. Amber, what's going on here? This is absolutely ridiculous. Look, it is objectively a good thing to want to keep a tidy home. And the fact that that is being equated to an attack on people of color or people of lower income status is such a joke. But unfortunately, at this point, the left's claims about racism have become indistinguishable from those of white nationalists. I mean, you have uh, universities teaching kids that the idea that you should be on time to events or that you should have individual responsibility are actually uh, also apparently related to whiteness. Those are not traits about anyone's skin color. Those are just traits about being responsible. And if we're telling people of color that they can't achieve those, then we are thereby engaging in the soft bigotry of low expectations. And Donna, we have about 30 seconds left. Your thoughts? I'm questioning who she actually spoke to. You can't go into an older African-American's home and it not be clean. They actually have <laughs> rooms that are dedicated that you can look into, but you actually can't sit in it. This is a person who is another uh, elite white liberal defining what it means to be black without actually asking black people about it. So I, you know, this is so crazy. I don't know a single black person that doesn't keep their house clean and it has nothing <laughs> to do with being racist or right. not. It has to do with respect and mm -hmm. pride in what you own. Yeah, very well said. And uh, I'm officially a fan of pantry porn, despite the awkward title. Uh, Amber, <laughs> Brianna, Donna, thanks for joining us. Uh, have a fun weekend and St. Patrick's Day if you're celebrating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me.